Hello, hello, and welcome. Sin here. And today we're going to be having a look at inscribers and how to make printed circuits as well as processors. So first off, we have an inscriber. This is typically going to be the first item you'll be making um, in Pydata 6.2. Uh, it does need to be powered. So what I have here is I have an unlimited power source into an energy acceptor, and we're going to chuck just any cable on here. I've got a smart cable just because I have that at hand. And that's what I want to use. So as you can see here, it doesn't show that it has any RF, but it is now connected to power and we'll go through and we'll have a look at it. Now the inscriber here, it has three different slots. So it has a top slot, a middle slot, and a bottom slot. And to make the processes, we'll be using this as a, a way of sandwiching all these components together to make our processes. But first, we need to have we need to make all the components. We need these printed circuits, we need the printed silicon, and we need some redstone. So let's have a look at this. So with a inscriber calculation press, so these presses you'll find them in uh, meteors all throughout your world. You can make a meteor compass and that will point you to the closest meteor. It can be helpful, but again, if you just fly around, you can find them pretty easily. So let's first start with this calculation press. So the calculation press goes in the top slot and we need an item to act on. So if we use a pure source quartz here, you can see this is going to create a printed calculation circuit, which is exactly what we wanted. And now we have one. So that's great. Very easy to use. Let's say you wanted to make another, or you wanted to get some more inscriber calculation presses uh, or any of the other presses, and you didn't, you know, you didn't want to go searching through immediate. Once you have one, you can actually use a block of iron, um, and that'll actually create a second one, which is which can be quite useful. So that's really easy. So you can see there we have now two. I'm just going to get rid of that one because I don't need to have that on hand. But let's go ahead and let's try have a look. So we, can, we can't put the gold in here because we don't have the right press in. So we're going to swap out that press, put a gold in. As you can see, the bar on the right here will move, and it does move pretty slowly. So what can we do about that? Well, one thing we can do about that is if we move that out and replace this with the engineering press, we can add some acceleration cards. And these acceleration cards accelerate the process. So if I now put a diamond in here, much faster. And that's exactly what we wanted to see. It goes a lot quicker and it's really quick. And finally we're going to use the silicon press pattern and we'll put a couple in here and you can only put one in at a time but you can have multiple in the output slot so that's quite helpful as well. So what I've done here is I've now created all of our printed circuits and three pre and three printed silicon. What I want to do there is now I want to start combining all of these items to make our processes. If we start with the first one, you can see here top, middle, and bottom makes our calculation processor wonderful. Now we can do that again, but we can also mix up the logic circuit or the I guess the printed circuit and the printed silicon and it will still make it. It just has to be sandwiched in between. So the order doesn't matter in which you put them in, but the middle slot does have to be a redstone. So finally we'll do that and there we go. So now we've made all three processes. We made the printed circuits and we could duplicate our um, we can duplicate our presses which is all great and these are sort of the base functionality of the inscriber. And I one thing I did want to touch on before the end of this is the inscriber is sided, so wherever you use an item, or wherever you input, imp try to input an item, that's where it's going to go. So for the inscriber in the top slot, you need to put it in through the top. From the bottom slot, it needs to come from the bottom, and from the middle, you need to put it in on the sides, at the back, um, or on the front. And same with the output, the output also needs to be on the sides as well. Um, what I'll do in another tutorial is to go through how to use process crafting and incorporate the inscriber to that. But if you like this video and it's helped you out, please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please feel free to subscribe. But as always, have a good day. Sin out.